Hey Tubers, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I decided to make another video on Japanese aviators hats. And the reason why is because I wanted to show you guys one of my hats from my collection. The reason why I decided to show you guys this one is because it's in really poor condition and it seems like it's it got caught up on fire. So it's in really, really, really poor condition. Which makes me believe that this was probably taken off a, a dead Japanese pilot after World War II. You see there are a lot of black spots. And I've also wanted to uh, tell you guys just once again just everything you need to know about the Japanese aviators pilot hat. This was introduced by the Japanese government in 1930 after the creation of, of the Air Force at the time. There were two types of these hats, one for the summer and one for the winter time. This here is for the winter time, but it is in such a bad condition that all the fur, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit, but all the fur, the rabbit's fur, is off, which makes me believe that it was it probably caught up on fire, and you guys already know why. It might This might have belonged to a kamikaze pilot. And uh, it, it is also... So the ones, the ones for summer, were, the the ones used during summertime would, would have no fur, and the ones the ones used during the winter time would have fur. Which I tried some of them, and they are extremely warm. You can see, right in inside the ear cup, you can find stamping. This was just stamps that this was inspection by the Air Force at the time, that this passed regulations for a pilot to wear at the time. So you're gonna find this of uh, stamps inside the ear cup. This this also have two flaps like this, and, and there's actually a strap that is actually missing from this one, and you can strap this to your chin, right here. But once again, this one is missing the strap. The ear cups have two holes right here, and this was for radio communication. So there will be two plugs here that way they they could communicate with other pilots and with headquarters with radios. There's also a strap here on the back that's just kind of just to adjust that to your to the back of your head as you guys know anatomy and physiology all, all, all of us have different head sizes so but you guys know that you know Japanese pilots were just uh, smaller because I've tried some of this and they're just like they're very very small they also have a star here right on the forehead which represents the Japanese army at the time they were all made out of leather and honestly they are just very resistant they were very well made by the Japanese because almost all of them are in really good condition but this one it's one of the worst conditions as far as like this has that I've ever seen ever so it's in really 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 bad condition but that's why it just makes it so rare because it is just in such a bad condition which once again makes me believe that this was taken off a, a dead Japanese pilot at the time these are actually quite rare I have a few of them in my collection but I never had one in this condition before it's quite interesting I'm just gonna zoom in on the buttons they have like a zigzag decoration no I wouldn't say that it was kind of like a Greek square like all around but that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching um, thank you so much for clicking on my videos I've actually just shipped the bayonet like two days ago to the winner from one of my videos with the giveaway the Christmas giveaway a few days ago I just um, shipped the bayonet like two days ago so I uh, asked for a picture so I could show you guys the winner with the bayonet just to show you guys that you know uh, it was sent out and uh, as I promised I deliver so I'm gonna wait on the picture but if not I will show you guys my uh, eBay account because I've actually because it's a bayonet I have to actually make sure that the person is 18 years old so the way I thought about a way on how to figure that out and 
I came up with if you purchase it on eBay, then that means before opening an eBay account, you have to be 18 years old. So I've actually had the person buy it for one dollar, which they, they didn't actually pay. I ended up just just make it uh, just flagging it as paid, and I just uh, finished uh, sending uh, just sent it to, to this person like two days ago. So well, thank you so much for for uh, watching these videos. I'm gonna go ahead and give more things away. If I see that I start getting more subscribers and you guys like more of my videos and I get more subscribers, I'm going to start giving more stuff away. I'm maybe planning to give something away next month. So it all depends on how things go. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The only reason why I continue making the videos is because of you guys. So thank you so much and sayonara.